In this uh, video, we're going to take a look at the process of wireframing for a website. So basically, a wireframe is like a blueprint of a building. So um, it will let you understand where things are going to go when you make your final home. So this is a sample of a blueprint house plan, right? So you can see that um, it's a very, very rough draft of how um, the things will be arranged in here, where everything is going to go. So a wireframe can be as simple as this where it's just hand, hand drawn and then all the things about where it is going to go and what where the header is going to be where the title is going to be where the images are going to be you're just you know making a rough very rough draft uh rough sketch of how things are going to be so this is how um wireframes are done but what we are going to do in this particular session is going to use a tool to create wireframe so that the process of this becomes easy right you don't have to hand draw anything uh, you can build a wireframe really easily and uh, the tool that we are going to use for that is called Whimsical. So let's take a look at that, right? So let's go to whimsical.com where you can sign up with your email and you will get this workspace. So when you're coming here, you can see that there are a lot of templates which are available that you can start with or you can create a new file from here. So click this button and ask you what do you want to create. You can create documents, you can create boards, you can create wireframes, you can create project management, you know, um, systems. You can also create a folder where you can add multiple file systems into it. So let's start with a wireframe. We'll click on wireframe and we have uh, this already open and we can call it what you want. So I'm going to just call it portfolio and uh, we can build our wireframe right now. So what you need to understand here is that this is your workspace and this is your toolbar, right? So toolbar, you can click here and you can sort of go uh, down and you can understand the uh, tools in here and very basic stuff. So you basically start here, right? So currently you can switch from wireframe mode to any mode in here and the tools are going to change. So this is the board mode, this is a project mode and this is a wireframe mode. We are going to work on a wireframe so we will need the, the tool, uh, the wireframe tool right here. And these are the tools. So if you click on this, you can basically add any element into your uh, workspace. You can add frames, you can have connectors, <clears throat> text, images, uh, icons, hyperlink, sketch, sections, and uh, more stuff in here. So what we'll do is we'll create a frame first. So to start with, we need a frame. So we're going to say that we are going to create a website for a window, a desktop window. So you can click on that. You can see that there are several devices which are available here, which is really, really good. So we'll go with a window and we can click on our workspace to create a window or you can click and drag to create a window. So we have this window right here and we can call it a name. So let's say we'll call it desktop version. Okay, that's good. So we have the desktop uh, frame right here and now it's time to add our elements into it. So you can go to this and you can click or select any element that you want. So if you scroll through it, you can see uh, the most popular elements which are used in a website. You can also search for elements. So you, for example, if you just want a button, you can just search for that and you will get on all these buttons uh, that they have here. So let's delete that and we will go here and we'll see what we can add from here. Let's say we will add an image, right? So let's say that we want to add an image somewhere here. So I'm gonna click and drag that frame. So now when I'm doing this, I'm saying that my website, when it is starting, it actually starts with a full width image here. And I can add another element here. So I'm gonna go here and I will click on the button and I will create a button somewhere maybe here. So I have a button also here. And I'll basically say that on the top of the image, I have this button. Now, when you select on this, you can choose the size. I want a small button or if you want a large button, you can change it like that. You can also change the uh, fill color, which is available here. So I'm gonna just change it to something else. It doesn't matter because it's just a wireframe. So if you just leave it as gray also, it works perfectly fine. If you want to link it to somebody, if you want to make the wireframe a little more functional, you can even link it to something else. So um, you can do that. You can actually make the visual look like a button or a link, right? So if you just want it to be a hyperlink, you can click on that. Now um, you can add an icon along with it. So I'm going to select the button back here and I'm going to go here and I'll say that okay, I want the play button to be there. So I added a button also here. You can create multiple uh, states. So I want to say that the button when it's starting it is disabled, you can change it. So you can duplicate it, you can add a comment to it so that people will understand what this button will do. So, and then you have a couple of other options where you can just cut, delete, 
you know send back rearrange formats and things like that so we this is what we have right now in our basic so um you have this and an image and on top of that there is a button so let's go here and let's find something else so and let's search for lorem ipsum so i have this lorem ipsum piece that i'm getting so i can just again click and drag to adjust the text and now if i select it i can choose the size of it i want it to be small and all that i can do that uh, alignment i can adjust it here the color also i can adjust it uh, i can keep regenerating the content if i click on here uh, the blocks so if i don't want the text to be visible and i just want some blocks to represent that okay this is how the text is going to appear this would be a good op option in uh, when you're creating wireframes because you don't want any real text going in here it's just you know an abstract shape that represents you know this is going to be a text block right which actually works pretty good so you can have this and uh, you can also switch it back to text right, if you want it Let's control Z that and you have duplicate and all the other options which are available here. Also, what you can do is you can control C and control V to duplicate an element. So I created two blocks of text here like this. Now, if I'm going back and selecting the frame, I can stretch the frame. So if I want to say that okay, this is a scrolling website which have more length to it, I can do that there. So what I'm going to do is I'll add a couple of more elements into this. I'll just go here and say that I need a divider to be basically here. So I added a divider right there. Just go to elements, just go down. Let's take uh, maybe uh, some reviews. So I just mentioned that here. Copy that. So this could be like a feedback of the site, right? You're just representing what goes, you're just arranging it so that um, you know that whatever content that you have mentioned in your sitemap, everything fit into this layout, right? So it doesn't have to be pixel perfect. It doesn't have to be accurate in any sort of way. It's just, just to give you an idea of your layout, right? So we have this right now. Let's go in and we will uh, add a couple of more things into it. Let's go here. And maybe what we'll do is take a video and we will say that okay, after this, there is a video that actually plays like that. And this is the end of my website. Maybe we'll add some more uh, text into it. So add an element, say block font, clip it here, make it very small. Say that maybe the address or something like that is going to pop up right here. So we have the um, whole site. You can just click here to zoom out. And you can see that we have the desktop version of you know your homepage, your website, which is the wireframe of it. You are always, I mean, most of the time you'll be working on ubiquitous designs, which means that the uh, design will be usable on multiple devices. You might have to show that how this design is going to look on a uh, mobile device. So I have this frame right here. So we have this also. I'm going to show that if somebody opens this website on the mobile phone, this is how the mobile site is going to look like. So what you can do here is that you can copy this and you can paste elements into it. Like, um, so in a mobile view definitely if the image needs to be a little bigger for people to understand that and uh, the button can be somewhere here maybe the button needs to be large in a mobile phone because you know, people need to click on this right so it needs to be a little bigger and you can say that okay we need the text block here copy that and uh, we are going to paste it here so rather than putting the text block two text blocks like this we might have to put it one after the other that's the way that it fits and it's more visible in the mobile phone right so i'm basically doing it like that so if you have paste it and it's going to come right here so both of the reviews are coming like this i'm going to go to the frame because we will not be able to fit everything in here so i'm going to just stretch it so and then add the other elements into it so the video will come in right here just play it like that so the video is going to play here like that and the final text block that we have is going to be here. Maybe add to a larger text. I'm going to put it right in here. Right, so we have both the versions right now. This is how you do wireframes of the same page on different devices, right? And these wireframes are going to be very important because this is what the designers, the visual designer is going to use when they are going to design your website. Definitely, it will change a bit, um, but they will know that okay, this content, whatever is supposed to be in the homepage is there in the homepage. They have, they have the chance to make sure that it's there. So this is how wireframing works. And once you have done that, 
you can even connect it. So you can say that, okay, let's say you are creating one more frame here and you can basically take a connector and say that okay, this is connected to uh, one other screen, which is right there. It's not very important on wireframe because you already have user flows for that. So based on your sitemap and user flows, you can actually make this wireframes perfect by adding connections as well. All right, so this is how wireframes work and I'm showing only you one screen right now. So it's the same screen which it appears in desktop version. And this basically, uh, this is how it appears in your mobile phone version, right? Start building a wireframe for your portfolio, right? Uh, definitely you can work on the design, visual design part of it later, but this is just to ensure that your content, whatever you have planned, whatever information architecture that you have planned for your website will fit into these screens, right? So this will give you that idea. So start building a wireframe. Let me know your thoughts. Bye.